I'm Dr. Tania from Vet in a Van, and today I'm going to talk you through removing a grass seed or prickle from your pet's skin or paw. Once you've found a grass seed, which could be anywhere on the body, although they do like hiding places like under the ears, in the fluffy bits around their tail base, under their groin and under their armpits. A very common spot is between their toes. But once you've found one, you can feel through the skin and get down to the base. If there's no swelling around the grass seed and it's just at the surface of the skin, then it's fairly straightforward to use your tweezers to remove it. We'll give you some close-up vision. vision. Now we'll get our tweezers from our first aid kit, hiding inside the inside of the top opening. Honey here is our model for the day and I can feel a grass seed hiding underneath her chest just here. So if we get some close-up vision of removing this. So we're just grasping the grass seed around the base as close to the skin as possible. If your dog doesn't want to sit still then you might need somebody to hold them or give them some treats to encourage them to hold still for just a second. It shouldn't hurt them as you grasp the grass seed around the base close to the skin with the tweezers and gently but firmly pull it from the surface. Have a feel over the surface to make sure all of the pieces have been removed and that there's no pieces of grass seed left stuck in the skin. Occasionally they can migrate in deeper and cause abscesses or much bigger problems. But this one here is very fairly shallow. So once it's been removed, we can apply some Clorhex to the surface of the skin. Inside our first aid kit, you'll find a here. And get our Clorhex, Clorhexidine ampule out. This is antiseptic, so it just helps it not get infected from the surface of the skin. Twist the top off. It just comes off like that. And on the surface of the skin where you've just removed your grass seed from, you can squeeze a little bit on and clean it. If there's any swelling, redness, discharge, or your dog otherwise seems unwell, then it's best to get them checked at a vet. But if it's a simple prick in the surface and it looks pretty nice and clean otherwise, you can clean it and just keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm.